Period poverty is causing millions of girls to miss school. 800 million girls around the globe miss school for a week every single month because of a huge problem that shouldn't be a problem, a menstrual cycle without access to affordable menstrual products. According to a recent study, in America, one in five teens struggle to afford period products or are unable to access them at all, and one in four teens have missed class due to menstrual hygiene product affordability. These girls will sometimes resource unhygienic items to overcome capitalism's grip on their menstrual health, using things like rags, paper towels, toilet paper, or cardboard. This is all unsanitary. This heightens the risk of urogenital infections, such as urinary tract infections and bac bacterial vaginosis. The effects of using less than sanitary items for menstruation can result in skin irritation, vaginal itching, and discharge. This prevalent phenomena of being unable to obtain sanitary pads, tampons, or liners to manage menstrual bleeding is referred to as period poverty and is a huge global dilemma. Period poverty is taking an emotional toll on all girls across the globe and is linked to higher levels of poor mental health such as anxiety, depression, and distress. Menstrual equity movements are gaining momentum as more people talk about it. Policy proposals and pilot programs are being adopted in schools providing free hygiene products for students and legislations are drawn up calling for the elimination of taxes on menstrual hygiene products at the state and municipal levels. For example, Ohio repealed sales tax on menstrual products with absolute unanimous support. Other states like Connecticut and New York are taking action to address this problem. American Congress could pass the Menstrual Equity for All Act that would enable states nationwide to use federal grants for period products in schools and require Medicaid to cover the cost of period products and let people use pre-tax dollars from fle flexible spending accounts to purchase menstrual products. P period poverty is an unacceptable ep epidemic. Too many students in our schools are unable to afford these basic health necessities, tampons and pads. Access to menstrual products is a right to feel clean and confident and capable of functioning without worry. For the menstrual movement, demands for adequate provisions are non-negotiable. Menstrual equality, menstrual equity can not only be achieved so that period products are accessible, safe, and destigmatized.